Hi there folks, Colin Tyler here at Woodridge Ford and we're going to do a quick update for the new iOS 14 CarPlay that's available in Ford vehicles. You're not going to notice really much of a huge change to the screen when you plug in your Apple phone except for the fact that now you can go into settings and you have access to some new colorful wallpapers. If they don't work for you, you can go back and use the old automatic light dark, but if you want something a bit more colorful, say a blue green number like this one right here, just hit settings, go into wallpaper, choose your wallpaper, hit the set button. Take it back to the main menu. Now, some of the big changes that have happened are the ones under the hood. First big one is Siri's been updated, so you're gonna see a new animation when we hold down the button. So as you saw there, Siri is gonna come up as a little ball. They've added a few more choices. So through Siri and Maps now, coming to Canada in the fall, you're gonna be able to share your ETA. So if you're, say, running late for a meeting or the wife wants to know where you are, you just go, hey Siri, and she's gonna be able to share your ETA by saying, hey Siri, share my ETA. They'll get a message and they'll be able to see where you are, how long you're gonna be to get to your location. Messages has also had a little bit of an update, so you can now send a voice message if you want natively from Apple CarPlay. When the new Mach-E comes out, you're also gonna get support there with electric vehicle routing natively built in. Finally, three big changes are gonna be happening to apps. One is gonna be what they call their eating apps. So you're looking to order pizza, maybe a bit of McDonald's, you're gonna be able to do that natively from the screen here easily. That's gonna be coming out in a bit. We're just waiting on Apple developers to release these changes. Again, another mention is the EV, so standard EV apps will be native to Apple CarPlay. And a new feature is gonna be parking apps. So if you have a parking app to pay for your parking or get directions to a certain parking lot, those developers will have the ability to make their app native to the Apple Car screen. As you see here, we do have some minor changes to the horizontal bar, but that's about it. If you want any more information on how to fully set up your Apple CarPlay, please check out our Apple CarPlay video for 13.6. Hope to hear from you soon. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below, and of all of course, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.